This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.7. To help reduce unconscious bias in assignment grading, you can set assignments to display a user's org defined ID as an anonymous identifier. The D2L, Tools, Anonymous Marking, Use Org Defined ID, Configuration Variable must be turned on at the course offering level. A new icon displays, identifying that anonymous submissions has been set for an assignment. For instructors to access Publish All Feedback, you must set the Publish All Feedback on Anonymized Assignment Submission Folder's Assignments Permission. The confirmation window has been improved to remind instructors to complete feedback for all anonymous users and will state the number of users with feedback and the total number of users. The Evaluate Submissions page has been updated. This feature implements PI items D4815 and D4500. The Evaluate Submission page no longer displays navbar links. This update provides instructors with more screen space to view and evaluate assignments. On paper submission and observed in person submission types are now available in content from the existing activities menu. From content, Click the module you want to add an existing assignment to. Click Existing Activities and select Assignments. The new assignment types now display. Click the assignment to add it to content. There is a new course access Brightspace dataset. This dataset is included in beta period starting November 2018 and D2L may make updates at a more rapid cadence. These updates will be communicated as necessary. The Legacy Brightspace Dataset column, internal email, will remain in the relevant dataset, but the column value will be empty. You and your instructors, with the appropriate permissions, can change home page banner image titles. Click the More Options menu and select Customize Banner Text. To change the title to the org unit name, a custom value, or none. In Lessons, you can now specify a color scheme for units. Note, you must have the Manage Navbar Themes, Navbar's permission, at the organization and course offering levels to make these changes. From Create or Edit Theme, in the Primary Colors section, click Choose Colors to specify the color of the navbar in Lessons, and update the foreground text if necessary. Next, in the accent color, click Choose a color. When you are ready, click Save and Close. Now, when the theme is applied to a navbar, the colors display to create a stronger sense of your branding throughout Brightspace Learning Environment. In Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups, the course cards for corporate learners has been improved. The D2L, Tools, My Courses Widget, Updated Sort Logic, Configuration Variable must be turned on for this feature. The existing Enroll End User User's Permission is now defaulted to Off. You must turn on this permission for the Manager role at the course offering level. Without this permission, managers will no longer be able to assign or remove courses. Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups are now available in Spanish when users set their system locale and language settings. Quizzes now display in full screen. This feature implements PI items D4574 and D4601. When a user starts a quiz, the nav bar no longer displays. This provides additional screen space for the quiz by removing unnecessary navigation elements from view. Users can now add files containing closed captions to their video notes. Various improvements have been made to the My Courses widget. These changes require the D2L, Tools, My Courses widget, Updated Sort Logic, Configuration Variable to be on. New status badges indicate closed and inactive courses. 
Course cards now feature a cleaner layout for the course name, course code, semester, and dates. Notifications, if configured, are now sorted by tool, and when a user hovers over the notification icon, a tooltip provides more information. Image dimensions for course cards have been updated to support all screen sizes. D2L continues to recommend an image size of 2400 by 960 pixels for optimal viewing. Check out the updates to assignments and how to create a theme by following the links in the video.